down before you deafen your grandfather. I'm well aware of that fact. But he won't make it to his 81st birthday if that music isn't turned down to a suitable level. Grandad, can you teach me that movie puzzle? Okay. But if my back gives in, don't you tell your mum and dad how I did it. All of his effort and he probably won't even appreciate it. Of course he will, darling. Stop being so negative. I see that's where you get your dance moves from. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dad. 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 Happy birthday to you. Go on, Dad. Make a wish. What did you wish for, Grandad? You can't ask him that. It would come true otherwise. You okay, Dad? Yes. Just exhausted. Have a good day today. It was lovely. Just what I wanted. Do you know, son? This has been one of the best years of my life. I know you said you didn't want to fuss or anything much for your birthday, but uh, I thought I'd get you something of little special. The yours is barely working, so I thought I'd replace it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> You're always moaning about it. you can't keep track of time. Yours is always stopping. Tells the time and the date and, and the year. It's lovely. Just what I wanted. Must have cost you a bomb. Keep that quiet, though, eh? Night, Dad. This is more hassle than it's worth, Michael. The house is hectic enough as it is. You won't have to put up with Dad for much longer. It'll be sorted soon. Your dad is becoming a nuisance. All he does is sit in that bloody shed all day and do nothing. I've tried my hardest with that man, but still nothing. Like having a second child in the house. I called Millway House yesterday. Everything's confirmed. I've got him a nice little room, and there's a garden, and a shed, so I can carry on tinkering. Well, that's brilliant news. <laughs> I'm so relieved. We still have to tell him. We will, as soon as possible.
Grandad! Grandad, where are you going? I thought you were going to teach him the worm this week. I'm going to my shed, Tom. But Mum's making breakfast. Oh, for God's sake, where's he gone now? Said he was going to his shed. Typical. Hannah, that's enough. You know he's old. Probably got a headache from the music, that's all. Why are you defending him? He's got no consideration for anyone but himself. He said he was going to teach me the work. Right, we need two jiggly bobs. Two jiggly bobs. One piece of Ozontario wood. Ozontario wood. A queasel tire. Queasel tire. Some wamboozle carburetor. How'd you spell that, Grandad? W A M B O Z A L C A R B. U R E T O R. Okay, anything else? No, I think that's it for the time being. You know, Tom, I love our little trips together. Me too. You're my partner in crime, you are. been a while. What did you get? A queasel tyre and two jiggly bobs and... Could you give us a hand? We need all of this taking into the shed. <laughs> Dad been food shopping? Food shopping? I wish. He's only been to the bleeding dump again, hasn't he? Oh, God. Once again, our house is cluttered with junk we don't need. Look at the shed. It's rammed with rubbish. Well, it won't be long until we can get rid of that shed. Oh, I know. It's just frustrating living with him. But him and Tom seem to be a lot closer recently. Perhaps it's a good thing he's here. I don't know, Michael. I've hardly seen Tom over the last few weeks. After school, he goes straight to the gardener upstairs, and that's it till dinner time. I'm worried about his schoolwork. Perhaps we could uh, use this to our advantage. Oh, for God's sake, Michael. You never take anything seriously. The time traveller for so it will be convenient to speak of him, was expounding a residue of matter with us. Me and Hannah, I'd like a quick word, if that's OK. I'm reading Tom a story. We can talk later. It'll only take a few minutes, Jim. I'm sure Tom won't mind him. Hmm? We'll talk in the morning. Do you want to know a secret? Yes, of course.
but Mum always told me that they weren't real. That they were just for cool films. <laughs> oh, did she know? <laughs> then your mother doesn't know what I know about things, does she? So can I help? Only if it's our little secret. Guessing you've been speaking to Mum again. Well, I did try, but she didn't give me more the juicy details. Do you spill? Basically, father-in-law from hell is turning into my living nightmare. Well, we knew that anyway, didn't we? Oh, I'm at wit's end now. Enough is enough. He's walking around the house like he owns it. He never lifts a finger. He's making a bloody racket in that shed all day. Soon he pops off the bat. Oh, tell me about it. Can't wait to get him out. It shouldn't be too much longer, though. Hmm. Well, enough about my sorry excuse for a life. How have you been? <laughs> I'll call you back. That is it. I've had enough. He's worse than a hormonal teenager. Calm down. What's happened? He's only gonna move into the bloody shed. <sighs> Why has he done that? Well, how on earth should I know? All I need to know is he's gonna leave ASAP. It'll pass. It's probably just an age thing. He probably thinks he's not getting enough attention. From attention? He <laughs> can't cope anymore. I'll sort it. We'll talk to him again later, okay? I can't wait to see it when Granish filled his building. Can I go and have a look? Oh, darling. <laughs> What stories have your grandfather been telling you now? No, Mum. Grandad's building a machine and I'm helping him. Oh, really? You can't believe everything your granddad tells you, sweetie. But Grandad really is building. Listen, darling. Your granddad is a very old man. You know he's not really building anything, don't you? Wait here a second while I talk to him. It's Hannah. I'd like a word. I haven't got time right now. Well, when have you got time? Not now!
Is everything okay in there? collect Jim Johnson's belongings to take to home. Oh, fantastic. We're all ready for you. I'll come get Jim. Jim! Dad! to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear dad happy birthday to you go on dad make a wish <laughs>